Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Okay. When we hear the word mourn, we always associate it with somebody who has died. No? Yun ang, yun ang ating laging uh, uh, kinalulungkutan. But here, uh, sa Beatitudes, yung mourning dito refers to the loss of grace, the loss of paradise, the loss of God in our life. So that is what we should learn to mourn about. And that is connected to the second part, which is they shall be comforted. I don't know if uh, in your experience, uh, malungkot ba tayo pagka nawala ang grasya ng Diyos? O nawala ang Diyos sa ating buhay? nawala ang kanyang kanyang uh, will, yung kanyang kagustuhan. So maraming biyaya na natanggap tayo sa Panginoong Diyos. Ito ang dapat na kalulungkutan natin kapag nawala. Kasi kadalasan ang nangyayari, yung mga material na bagay, ang pag nawala, doon tayo nalulungkot ng lubos at mas madali tayong malungkot. Pero kapag nawala ang bagay na espiritual, parang okay lang. Babalik din yun. Hindi tayo gumagawa ng paraan para talaga makabalik. That is why the second part of the beatitude kadalasan hindi nangyayari. Tuloy pa rin yung ating kalungkutan kasi nga hindi hindi natin namimiss yung talagang dapat na mamiss. And this is our experience many times in uh, the confessional Ang hirap intindihin minsan bakit na kahit sa, kahit sa mga religious, sa mga kapirean, sa mga taong ang expected natin mabubuti ay nakakatagal na matagal na na hindi nakakabalik sa Panginoong Diyos. So, hindi sila nagmumorn. It is something, talagang gano'n ang buhay, yung, yung lagi mong, ma, lagi natin natidinig. Pero, kung titignan natin, that is not the plan of God. Hindi yun ang kanyang will. Ang kagustuhan niya, lagi tayong masaya. Lagi tayong, kaya, uh, lagi tayong tatanggap ng mga biyaya ng Espiritu Santo. No? Which is love, joy, peace, etc. Yun ang comfort na kung aasam-asamin natin, we will always be comforted. Kung gagawin natin yung pamamaraan na makabalik tayo sa Kanya. So, this is the experience of everybody. Kaya sa eight Beatitudes, laging pinapaliwanag ng Panginoon yun. Blessed those who mourn. Mourn because we lost the grace of God. Because we lost the friendship of God. Or we lost our promises in baptism and in the, in the sacraments. Hindi, na, hindi tayo naging faithful. 
Kaya, huwag tayong uh, mawala ng pag-asa. Because the second part, kung ikalulungkot natin yun, talagang target ng morning na yun, which is the loss of God in our lives, ang promise ng Panginoon, we will be comforted. Padadala niya ang Spiritus Santo so that we will experience again that privilege of being a child of God, being connected with God again, enjoying God's life again in us. So yun, redirection lang. Ano ba ang mga bagay na nalulungkot tayo? Balanse. Most of the time, yung mga material na bagay. Hindi yung mga bagay na natanggap natin sa Panginoong Diyos na nawala. Kapag, kapag nawala yun, may mga pamamaraan para bumalik. So, going back to the stories of Christ, di ba yung, yung prodigal son, when he lost what he had with the father, nagbalik loob siya. And the father saw to it that he was comforted na in the story, parang kinaligtaan pa yung kanyang kapatid para lang mabigyan ng atensyon. Itong anak na nag-mourn, nag-mourn ha? in the story. Nalungkot siya. Di ba ang sabi pa niya, bakit ako naghihirap dito samantalang sa tahanan ng aking ama? Mas masarap pa ang kinakain ng aming mga katulong. See? See the, 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 one, the, the message. Kaya nalungkot siya. So ang, 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 ang analogy is very, very powerful. Kaya it, it is a story that begs a reflection on the details. Magaganda ang mga details na And then, with, with the bigger brother, hindi, hindi siya nag-mourn. <laughs> Sinisipan niya yung ama niya eh. Di ba? Kaya, hindi niya na-miss. Hindi niya, hindi niya na-miss. Yung na-miss ng kanyang kapatid na bata na nalungkot doon sa nang wala sa kanya. Madalas ganun tayo eh. And as probably as a nation, as a Christian nation, meron tayong parang uh, ano sasabihin doon? Parang satisfaction misplaced in some sometimes misplaced in many ways na okay na kahit na kahit na anong mangyari okay na kristiyano na naman kami parang hindi na natin namimiss yung mga nung araw na miss natin sa pagiging kristiyano pagiging katoliko for that matter. Okay, so that is uh, the reminder of the, the Lord. If we mourn, we shall be comforted. So blessed are those who will mourn. The right things, huh? hindi, yung, hindi yung mga material na bagay dito sa mundo. Hindi yung ating friendship with God. And His grace. Amen. Uh, Father, yung sa sa prodigal son ano po? It took a while before the the son went back to mourn and go back to the father. Hindi po ba? Mm. It took a mm. while. Mm. Only yeah. after he lost everything. Yeah. 
yun ang yun ang yun ang danger looking at it in a in a wider national scale we don't mourn so much the loss of our catholic values mm -hmm. comfortable comfortable pa tayo but look at the countries that lost it mas masigasig sila Ganun talaga eh. That's, that's part of our being human. Kung ka lang talagang nawala na, doon lang natin uh -huh. na-feel. Hmm. Parang it seems like it's a uh, it's a common denominator among people that only if you reach that point, parang rock bottom, you lost oh. everything, and that's a time sinasabi lang kumakapit sa Diyos. Uh -huh. Doon lang nagbabalik loob eh. Pero yeah. people, parang that's how I see it right now na people need to go through that process of losing everything mo na lahat ng material things. Kasi no, ang na-observe na ko lang po, Father, mm. even if people lost their relationship with God, pero as mm. long as they have these material things, mm. hindi pa pumapasok sa utak nila na... <laughs> mm. Sorry, na-distract po kay Luningning. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, hindi yeah. po, nawala po ako. <laughs> nawala ako. Uh, hindi, yun po, yung mga tao pong iba kasi, even if they lost the grace of God, pero kung comfortable pa sila sa material things that they have, mm. parang hindi bumabalik, hindi siya, not like other people, I, I, I noticed. Kahit na nakamiss lang siya ng isang Sunday mass, nakokonsensya na. Hmm. Hindi, hindi, ano, balisana, hindi siya maka, mapakali until bumalik siya sa confession. To confess for hmm. that, for someone who lost a, 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 missed a mass. But for hmm. other people, even if they lost the grace of God, as long as they're comfortable pa rin with their resources, they don't think about God. <laughs> eh, hindi ko po... Hindi uh, nakakala nila. Oh, it Yun takes a while. Nila. Uh -huh. The question always is, are they happy? Yung real happiness. Eh? Kasi na-experience nila yung real happiness when they are with God. Mm -hmm. ba? Do they miss it? And if they miss it, they mourn. If they don't miss it, they don't mourn. Yeah. That is why it is important for us to always have a period of reflection. Kasi sa gulo ng mundo, sa many distractions, hindi natin na-feel yun. Father? Yes, Gino? I wanted to... We have no right... We have no right to judge. Only God can judge, right? Yes. But uh, yesterday, I was kind of struck when the president was speaking, he wasn't his usual self because um, apparently the virus already has overwhelmed him. In fact, he kept mentioning uh, right now only God, only God, only G it's only it's only the Lord who can help the country right now. He said, and he was asking the Filipinos to stay grounded and to rely on God. He was really repeating reliance on God. And that kind of surprised me because usually, mahilig magmurayon, mahilig siya mag curse and, and mag uh, use ng profanity. But yesterday, when he was talking about the seriousness of the virus, he even said he would be willing to sell everything to save the country, the nation, like sell assets to raise funds for vaccine. Uh, I'm just saying, I'm just kind of surprised because I don't know what to think of it eh, because I don't know if it's grace or if he got enlightened. I was kind of surprised lang how he, re how he was speaking yesterday about it. Do you have, what can you say about those, that kind of state when uh, parang he seemed to resign that it's only up that God can really uh, right now address our situation. He seems to resign to that eh. Ganun naman kasi ang tao eh. Bo, alisin mo yung recording. 
Sorry po. Ganun kasi.